It's been seven months since I made a video exclusively about Osana. I don't plan to make a true progress report about Osana until after I'm finished implementing all of the events where Osana interacts with Senpai. But I would like to make a video where I elaborate about my game design philosophy for Osana. To do this, I'm going to show you one of Osana's events and describe how it works. As I explained back in January, the player can eavesdrop on conversations between Osana and Senpai to learn what they plan to do later in the day so that the player can sabotage their interactions and ruin their relationship. On Wednesday morning, the player can learn that Osana plans to take a photograph of something for Senpai. The player can sabotage Osana's plans by stealing her phone and putting lewd photographs on it. So when Osana gives her phone to Senpai, he'll see a bunch of dirty things on her phone and become disgusted with her. When implementing the expulsion elimination method, I gave the player the ability to steal Kokona's phone, take photos with it, return it to her, and then report her to the guidance counselor. So technically, all of the necessary code to implement Osana's Wednesday event was already in the game but I decided not to copy Kokona's event and give it directly to Osana. I'll explain why. For Kokona, there was only one specific time on one specific day when she would leave her phone unattended. There was also only one specific opportunity for the player to return Kokona's phone. The more I thought about this, the more I disliked it. I don't like the idea of forcing the player to remain locked to one very specific path without any room to be creative, improvise, or make interesting choices. I decided that I would not be satisfied with just giving Kokona's event directly to Osana. I decided that I wanted the event to feel organic. In other words, I want events to occur as the natural outcome of the player's actions not because those events were scripted to occur. Now I'll tell you the various ways that I've tried to achieve this. Instead of being scripted to go to the locker room at a specific time of day, I decided that Osana should only go to the locker room if the player performs an action that will force Osana to go to the locker room. And I decided that the player should be able to do this at any time of day. In the past, the player could do this with Kokona by simply throwing water on her. But this ability is actually too overpowered, since it allows the player to stop any interaction event and change the rival's routine at any time, in any place. To make things more fair, I've decided to change the way it works. If the player fills a bucket with liquid and puts it over a door, the bucket will spill on the next person to walk through the door. Using this method, the player can cause Osana to deviate from her normal routine and go directly to the girl's locker room to change her clothes. This can occur during any phase of the day, before class, class time, lunch time, after class, etc but it can only be done if the player has memorized Osana's routine and knows what doors Osana is going to be walking through. That is how I decided to balance this feature. Anyway, the player can steal Osana's phone whenever she's in the locker room. This is significantly different from how things worked with Kokona, whose phone was only vulnerable during one scripted event. After Osana discovers that her phone is missing, she abandons her normal daily routine and searches for her lost phone whenever she's not in class. Normally, while Osana is waiting for class to begin, she will be texting on her phone. But if she doesn't have her phone, she will perform a different animation instead. To return Osana's phone, the player must put it in the room where Osana is searching for it. Osana might be in this room because she's searching for the phone, or she might be in this room because she's attending class. She can discover the phone regardless of the reason why she's in the room. After Osana has discovered her phone, she stops searching for it and returns to her normal daily routine. Everything I just described might not sound like anything special, 
But the point I'm trying to make is that this is the polar opposite of the way that Kokona's event functioned. Anyway, as I mentioned earlier, Osana plans to take a photo and show it to Senpai later in the day. If there was only one opportunity for her to do this, and the player interfered with Osana's routine at that point in time, then the player would lose the ability to sabotage the event. So, instead, Osana will attempt to take the photo any time after 1pm if she is in possession of her phone. She might take the photo at 3.30, or 4, or 5, or whenever the player decides that she's going to be in possession of her phone. In short, what I'm saying is that the player is in control of the situation, and isn't forced to work with one very specific window of time. At the end of the school day, there are three possible outcomes. Senpai admires Osana's photo, Senpai is disgusted by lewd photos on Osana's phone, or Osana is unable to show her phone to Senpai because she never got it back. Each of these outcomes results in a different interaction at the end of the day. The easy route would have been, the player can't affect Osana's routine, the player only has one opportunity to steal her phone, the player only has one opportunity to return the phone, Osana's routine doesn't change when her phone is gone, and Osana only has one opportunity to take the photo. This would have taken very little time to implement, and I would have been able to bring Osana to you faster, but the experience of sabotaging Osana's Wednesday event would have been boring. It wouldn't be fun or interesting at all, so instead I've tried my best to make sure that sabotaging the Wednesday event doesn't feel scripted. The player must take action to change Osana's routine. You can steal Osana's phone in the morning, at lunchtime, or after classes end. You can steal the phone before or after she's taken the photo. You can decide what time of day Osana will rediscover her phone. Osana's routine is different depending on whether or not she has her phone. And Osana will take the photo any time that she has her phone and some free time. It was more time-consuming to implement the event this way, but I think it was worth it. This creates an array of different possibilities, depending on when you steal the phone, when you return it, and when Osana takes the picture, the Wednesday event can occur in many different ways. I see a lot of potential to make this event even more organic than it already is. For example, there could be different ways to make Osana go to the locker room, or different ways to steal her phone, or different disgusting things to put on her phone. However, if I just kept making the event deeper and deeper, it would never actually get finished. So I have to limit myself to a specific amount of organic depth. It's important to note that not every single one of Osana's weekday events can function this way. Each event will be different in nature, and some will have less potential to be organic. Also, because Osana is the first rival, she's meant to be the least challenging rival to defeat, so her events will be extremely simple in nature, and very easy to sabotage. For the past two years, players have been killing Kokona in a wide variety of different ways. When I finally release Osana, I don't want it to feel like I just swapped out Kokona for a girl with different hair. I want the experience of eliminating Osana to feel completely different from the experience of eliminating Kokona. I want the experience of sabotaging Osana's interactions to feel organic, not scripted. I want you to feel like events are occurring because of your choices and actions, not because of an invisible script in the background. That is my game design philosophy for Osana. Or at least, that's part of it. There will also be other factors involved that will make it more difficult to eliminate her. But I'll elaborate about that in a different video. Making Osana's events feel organic isn't the only reason why it's been taking so long to implement her. But it is one of the factors. When a lot of time passes without any announcements regarding Osana, 
please rest assured that this is because I'm taking extra time and extra care to make sure that eliminating her is a much deeper and much more satisfying experience than testing out elimination methods on a purple-haired guinea pig. I hope that this video has helped to give you a clearer picture of my vision for Osana. Thank you for following the development of Yandere Simulator.